Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to make a Touch ID authentication Swift uh, project. And uh, as usual, uh, we start a new project. And before that, uh, I show you how will be our output. So we will have uh, one button over a screen that uh, we, with uh, tapping that, start to authenticate. Uh, but before that we need to make sure touch ID is enrolled okay so I tap this one and start to authenticate then I can come here and say match touch and then I get succeed or I can again authenticate and this time say non match then ask for passport or whatever else okay <coughs> okay so uh, let's stop this and start our new project so file new project Uh, so we choose single view app we name it iOS Swift touch ID <coughs> excuse me so yeah and create Set exist and open. So I need to go there. Yeah, this one. And I close it. Okay, so now if I want to create it, it's offered me replace. Yes, replace it. So I just need to go to main storyboard and drop a button in there Authenticate So background something like this Also, I make phone something like 25 or more Then I need to add some constraint to make this uh, more professional so uh, you can uh, check mark these two wide and high and then make it central but uh, this time I want to show you something else so we will come to here and say add missing constraint here you go so it fix it for me wherever it is and uh, but it's not recommended but it's a solution for doing fast coding okay and uh, we just need to call assistant editor so I delete this in Xcode 10 when you start a new project then then won't be any memory if you want you can do it yourself but it's not offering for every single program so yeah control drag from here here uh, to 
under view did load not inside the function outside the function but inside the class and we name our actually yeah we need to make it an action and uh, yeah my name it authenticate atten with touch ID and say connect okay so let me make some room here here first of all I need to import local authentication then I am gonna add this code here later I will explain it for you yeah also I can close assistant editor so so far we did everything uh, I'm gonna go to view controller and run program and on this opportunity I will show you uh, I just import local authentication and then here I create a context also I create an error then in context I add the method can evaluate policy then I use device owner authentication with biometric <coughs> excuse me and then inside this method I say reason authentication with touch ID and then context evaluation policy again same localized reason and then this uh, communication with uh, a user also we trigger show alert if success uh, succeed or not and uh, if anything you know didn't go through that uh, so and show alert is just get message as a string and show it in the presented in the alert controller that's it uh, so let's go to our simulator and see what will be our output now this time Yeah, uh, launch a screen will load first for a few seconds and then it will go to running our app. Yes, until it's coming up, uh, let's uh, see what else we can discuss now. Yeah, just uh, if you notice, we didn't do anything in view did load this time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we have a button now this time, and then I tap on it. Then it's a uh, touch ID, so we can come to hardware and say match touch and it should say yeah succeed but uh, if I do it and hardware not match say not try again or let do try again this time match yeah authenticate succeed or even if I turn off and roll So if I do it, uh, I will get Touch ID not available and for those devices that doesn't have for those uh, doesn't have Touch ID. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you like it, please give a like, uh, give it thumbs up, and also please don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are coming every day. Any question in comment, please. Also, you can find source code of this project inside comments. And yes, have a good one. Bye-bye.